Peace. Welcome to Faith Expression. In the name of the Father, and of the Son, and of the Holy Spirit. Amen. We celebrate and reflect now on the baptism of the Lord Sunday. The Gospel we read from the Gospel of St. Luke. We do not have, like in the Gospel of St. John, the reason why Jesus would be baptized because Jesus is sinless and baptism is forgiveness of sins and Jesus is without sin. He is son of God. He is God. But then in the Gospel of St. John, it is said that he is baptized for the sake of righteousness. The righteousness of God will overflow into the fallen nature so that the fallen nature may be washed. But this year, the orientation and the theme is that the baptism of Jesus is the initiation, his initiation into his public ministry. In that, the gospel narrative tells us that the people thought that the Messiah was St. John the Baptist. But St. John the Baptist, no, I am not the Messiah. I am baptizing you with water, but the one coming after me, meaning the Messiah, will baptize you with fire, with the Holy Spirit. So as we therefore encounter Christ in this Sunday of His baptism, we are celebrating the initiation of the public ministry of Jesus Christ, the Son of God. The public ministry that introduces us to the teachings of the Lord Jesus Christ about God, about the life divine, about what we should be doing in our Christian life. That is why the first reading is a prophecy and uh, a presentation form. Here is my servant in whom I delight. It is a presentation form. He will, uh, he will not even shout. His words cannot even be heard, meaning he's a meek and humble servant. He will not even um, break the bruised reed, a gentle and compassionate presence. He's being presented to us. And then in the second reading, um, I would like us to choose the, the letter of St. Paul to Titus that says, Here is the glory of God has appeared. And the glory of God that appears to us he is Jesus Christ. And so we have to reject godless ways and live in a godly way. Now, as we celebrate the baptism of the Lord Jesus Sunday, this is a celebration of the beginning in public ministry of Jesus Christ. But at the same time, this reminds us of our own baptism. When we are baptized, we are initiated into the divine life. We are reborn as children of God. And in that being born again in divine life, we now can live, begin to live in the newness of life in Christ so that the very symbolisms that we have when we were baptized, first of all, for example, the white garment. We are being given the purity of the soul. We have been washed clean by the blood of Jesus Christ so that in Christ we live truly in the new life, the new way, not the old way, not the old self, which is of selfishness and greed, but rather now of righteousness and holiness of God. The symbolism of the candle, fire, Jesus Christ gives us the Holy Spirit. Jesus Christ is the light of the world. And so in, this, in His light, we walk as children of light. We are no longer walking in darkness. Neither our lives is that of darkness, but rather of the light. So that in Jesus Christ, therefore, we are enabled to do the good. We are enabled to love in the way He loves. We are enabled to fight the good fight against darkness, against sin, and all forms of evil. We are enabled to live for God in Him. And so, in this baptism of the Lord Jesus Sunday, we 
celebrate our own baptism in Him. We celebrate the divine life that is now um, being introduced to us and reintroduced to us so that we encounter and re-encounter our reality in the divine life with Christ Jesus, our Lord. So begin and relaunch your Christian life. Relaunch the energy to live for God, to love God, and to truly serve God and be able to be faithful and loyal to Christ Jesus, our Lord. God bless. In the name of the Father, and of the Son, and of the Holy Spirit. Amen. Thank you for listening. And please subscribe if you have not done so and share this video to others.